Alright, first and foremost, I want to uh, face the East, give all praise and honor to Bahawa, Bahasham, Yahushat, Bahasham, Kahakagash. And uh, double honors to the elder apostles of GMS, Ruel. You know, Shalawan to the elders, you know, and to the Akim that come out here, you know, you know, day in and day out, you know, with, uh, whatever day, you know, your brother decide to come out, you know, we're out here uh, on Saturday, December the 12th, you know, and uh, we're out here to, you know, to gather the elect, you know, from the nation of Israel that consists of you Negroes, Latinos, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the elect out of, out of them, you know. Yeah, that's the 12 tribes of Israel. 12 tribes of Israel. You know, it's a lot of, you know, 12 tribes of Israel. You know, it consists of you, you know, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. And uh, we're out here, you know, once again, you know, and uh, I know me and the elder, you know, pretty talk pretty often about it, you know, about uh, this war, you know, that we're constantly fighting, you know, between the spirit and, and the flesh, you know. And uh, I mean, it could be, you know, different things you know different scenarios you know brothers you know go through you know different little situations and stuff like that you know but uh i want to go into uh romans uh the seventh chapter you know because the apostle uh paul you know goes into it you know he goes into it you know and he basically words it you know pretty good you know and uh we're gonna start in uh Romans uh, chapter 7, uh, verse 14. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Verse 15. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would that I do not. But what I hate, that I do. All right. So we're going to start back up at, uh, you know, Romans, the seventh chapter, verse 14, you know, and I'm going to, uh, you know, go into it, you know, to the best of my ability, you know, through the power of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. All right. This is Romans, chapter 7, verse 14. For what, for, for we know that the law is spiritual, but so, I am carnal, sold under sin. All right, so when it says, so we know that the law, you know, what law, you know what I'm saying, is, is it talking about, which is uh, the law that, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has, has given us, you know, and uh, just to back that up, uh, you go to uh, Genesis chapter 26, verse 5. All right, this is uh, Genesis chapter 26 verse 5 because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge my commandments my statutes and my laws and whose laws you know that's a uh, that's your how about some Yahweh speaking to you know our forefathers uh, Abraham and uh, Isaac you know and it clearly says, you know, whose laws? And uh, that's, you know, saying my laws, which is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. So I just want to, you know, bring that up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to, you know, edify the fact of, you know, for we know that the law is spiritual, you know? And we know that, you know, spiritual uh, is basically life, you know? Giving us life, you know? And to back that up also, uh, we can go to Job. 33, oh, verse yeah, 4. Give yeah, us an elbow. Yeah, give us an elbow. Good job. Say Job, Job 33. Come, come. Job 33, verse 4. Job, this is uh, Job chapter 33, verse 4. The spirit of power had made me and the breath of the Almighty had given, had, had given me life. Come, come. So, we, uh, we go to it real quick. Read it again. 
count, count, count. This is uh, Job 33 and verse 4. The spirit of the power had made me, and the breath of the Almighty had given me life. Huh. So there it is, you know. Uh, just to back up, without you know what I was saying about his spiritual, you know, which comes up, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but he is the one that gave us life, you know, through these scriptures, you know, and uh, but we could uh, go back to Romans seven and uh, fourteen. Okay, this is Romans chapter seven, verse fourteen. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, sold under sin. It says, but I am carnal, you know, but I am carnal, which is being, you know, being carnal is really, you know, deaf, you know, it's really, it's really deaf, man, because it's contrary, you know what I'm saying, to the, you know, to the spirit, you know, contrary to, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Shah, which is life. And carnal, you know what I'm saying, being carnal is, is basically deaf, you know, and just to back that up, you know, I got a, a precept in uh, Romans the eighth chapter, verse six. All right. This is Romans. This is Romans chapter eight, verse six. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual, spiritually minded is life and peace. See, so in Romans, Romans the, uh, the eighth chapter, verse six. It tells you right there, you know, being carnal, carnally minded is death, you know, and being uh, spiritually minded is life and peace, you know. All right, so uh, back to back to Romans. Oh, and uh, there's a uh, hold on to death, which I had a I had a scripture for that too. But actually, was actually, uh, I mean, we can we can go into it, you know, for an uh, for an example. Uh, it's in Second Kings, verse seventeen. You know, it talks about how basically Israel, you know, Israel by us forsaking, you know, the heavenly Father. And uh, doing contrary to his laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, we basically sold ourselves unto uh, unto death. So what is it? Second Kings, what? Uh, Second Kings, chapter seventeen, verse thirteen through seventeen. All right. This is Second Kings, chapter seventeen, verse thirteen. This is yet. The Lord, yet, yet the Lord, meaning Yahweh, testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according, according to all the laws which I, I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Now withstanding that would not, I mean, Nepsalaki, now withstanding they would not hear, but harding their necks like the necks of their fathers that did not believe in the Lord, their power. Verse 15, and David, and they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them. So right there when it when it talks about uh rejected, you know, and you go into the word rejected, man, it means to throw away, cast away, you know, vomit it, you know what I'm saying? Do away with it. You know? So we did, we did away. We cast away the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, had told us to uh, to follow, you know? So therefore, they was doing uh, contrary, like you were saying, 
understand when they do contrary, that allows them to be carnal. Yeah. And that's why Jake was getting put to death by the other nations and the Most High. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? So I continue. This uh, 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 15. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which they testified against them. Which he testified against them. So like, let me read that again. This is 2 Kings uh, 17 and 15. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and, and went after went after the heathens that that were round about them concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Kind of, kind of, kind of. So right there, you know, the Heavenly Father is basically, you know, letting us know uh, not to follow these, you know what I'm saying, these, these, these heathens. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, and uh, to prove that in, in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, uh, it says, uh, verse 1, yeah, that's Satan. No. Yeah, it's a lot of people. We are with us. Yeah, that's Satan. <laughs> but I read it again. This is uh this is uh second king seventeen. And verse uh, 15. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and his testimonies which he testified against them. And they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathens that were around, that were round about them concerning whom the Lord, meaning Yahweh, had charged them that they should not do like them. And just to back that up, you know, uh, in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, uh, I'll go ahead and read it, I'm, you know, I got it. Uh, just to prove, you know, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse one. Hear ye the word which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So Yahweh Shem Yahushua, through Jeremiah, you know what I'm saying, was letting us know not to follow these ways of these heathens. You know? That's but, why he gave the statue laws and commandments. Come, come. So it wouldn't be uh, like these other nations. So we'd be guide, guided by the holy law, come, which come. are spiritual. Come, which is spiritual. Because we are a spiritual people, come. separated from the other nations. Come, and these, and these other nations, man, they're carnal. Yep. You know? All right. So I continue. Uh, verse 16, this is 2 Kings, chapter 17, verse 16. And they left all the commandments of the Lord, their power, and made them molten images, made them molten image even two calves and made and made a grove and worship all the host of heaven and serve our hour. Verse 17. And they caused their sons, verse 17, and they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divinations and enchantments and soul themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord, meaning Yahweh, to provoke him to anger. Kind of, kind of. And that was that was key right there, man. We sold, they sold themselves to do evil in the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua to provoke him to anger. Yeah, so they were sacrificing their children to those idols that they created. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Like the heathens do. Kind of, 
Y'all watching out with Shy Hawk. Done. All right. Yeah, we can go back to, uh, uh, just to prove, you know what I'm saying, uh, how we sold it onto sin, you know. Uh, back in Romans chapter 7. And, and why they was being contrary to Yahweh by Shana was shot, they were feeding the, uh, living that life according to the flesh, not being spiritual. Okay. So that's what the heathen do. They live that life according to the flesh. Okay? And do whatever comes to mind with no uh, laws governing. Okay? okay? Which they make up their own laws, but it's not the laws of Yahweh Shai, which will keep everything in its natural course. Okay? They make up their own laws on however they feel, and that throws the uh, earth out of course, out of course, and that pisses the Heavenly Father off and makes him angry. So that's why he gonna set us up uh, back again, the people Latino the Native American, the elect out of them to rule the earth because the Heavenly Father is pissed uh, because the earth is uh, out of course. It's not running its natural course because everything is uh, uh, based off a normal lifestyle. Uh, uh, see? So this is uh, Romans chapter 7, verse uh, 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Verse 15, for that which I do, I allow not. And what is that? The flesh. No. You go ahead. For what I would that do, I not. And that's the spirit. So it's like a, it's like a constant, you know, battle, man battle between between the flesh and the spirit you know the flesh wanting to do this wanting to do that you know but you Commit know adultery man you know eat pork you know celebrate christmas uh uh man. celebrate halloween celebrate fourth of july uh uh eat abominable foods uh rob your brethren Come. uh kill your brethren just murder your brethren, okay? Uh, what else do you, what else do you need to do? Uh, charge your brethren with interest, okay? Find ways to scheme on your brother so you can come up, you make, know? Make laws and, you know, how to verify, you know, the separation of families and stuff. Yeah, you know? be joined to the heathens to overthrow your brethren. Yeah, that's carnal, man. That's a carnal lifestyle. You know, that's not being spiritual, which is of the law. You know? But I continue. He says, uh, this verse 15. This Romans 7 and uh, 15. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would that do do, I not, but what I hate, that I do. Yeah. And that's and that's the you know what I'm saying that's the flesh and the spirit, man, going you know back and forth, where you know you know Apostle Paul is going into it, and uh, the fact that you know what I'm saying it's just a it's a it's a constant back and forth, man, back and forth. You know, it's a battle, you know, which you know for that which he. You know, I do, I allow not, is, is the flesh, you know? And for what I would, that I do not, is the spirit. But that, but, but what I hate, that I do, you know? And that's the spirit, you know what I'm saying, contrary, you know what I'm saying, or the flesh contrary to the spirit, but the spirit basically hates, you know what I'm saying, uh, what the flesh, you know what I'm saying, is, is, uh, Ah, uh, how can I, I guess, Covering you know, yourself. yeah, yeah. Kind, Covering kind. yourself, man. You know, it's contrary. Kind. That's why we need a savior. Kind, kind. And I know, you know what I'm saying, and, and Lord willing, you know, 
like I said, it's making sense, you know, low willing. You know, it's just it's a, it's a constant battle between the, the spirit and the flesh. You know, the flesh and the spirit going back, you know, back and forth. You know, the spirit, you know, which wants to be righteous, wants to do good in the, in the eyes, you know what I'm saying, of the heavenly father. But the flesh is contrary, man. So it's no way that you can keep these laws, these 613 laws, uh, all of them. It's impossible. Because it's a war with the flesh. All you can do is keep the statute laws and commandments the best of your ability. Okay? But you do have a but you do have a guide, which is the scriptures, to tell you right from wrong. Because when you're in the world, you don't think about uh governing yourself by the statute laws and commandments the correct way. You just live it, man. But when you come into this truth, you say, okay, I can't do this, I can't do that. You watch your steps. But it's still a battle, man. Okay, it's still a battle. You don't uh, you don't grow your beard just for a fashion statement. Okay, you grow your beard because you know it's the laws of your Shema was shot. Okay, and that's okay. Okay. you know, yeah. and that and that's really you know what I'm saying. How to how to fight the flesh. You know what I'm saying by following the scriptures. You know what I'm saying doing what the scripture with your Shema was shot. You know what I'm saying is telling us to do.